Okay. 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 All right. So, new year, new you, right? Uh huh. Yeah, right. That's what everyone's saying. Or at least that's what DD and J over at Surmounts Corner are saying. That's right. And for this deep dive, that's our source material. We're diving deep into Surmounts Corner and all of their suggestions for how to completely upend your life for the better in the new year. I don't know. I always get a little suspicious around this time of year. It's like, we got to change everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know if it needs to be that drastic. But I will say I am curious. I think there's definitely some stuff we can dig into here. And who knows? Maybe we'll both come out of this deep dive with, like, a totally new outlook on life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's always room for improvement. Yeah. Right? And I think a lot of people do feel that urge for self-improvement. Oh, totally. At the beginning of the year, it's like a clean slate. Yeah. A fresh start. Yeah. I get it. Let's dive into some of these areas that DD and Jay want us to focus on. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, like, the first thing that jumped out at me was health and wellness, right? That's always at the top of everyone's list. And one of the things that they mentioned that I thought was interesting was mindfulness. Mm -hmm. Because it's become a little bit of a buzzword or you see it everywhere. Download this app, do this thing, you'll be mindful. But I actually think there is something to it. Like, I have noticed in my own life that when I'm feeling particularly stressed or overwhelmed, like taking a few minutes to just like breathe, be present. Yeah. It actually does make a difference. Yeah. Well, I think it's, you know, we talk about the mind-body connection all the time, and this is a perfect example. You know, it's not just in your head. It actually can affect you physically, too. Cool. You know, studies have shown that people who meditate regularly, for instance, their resting heart rate goes down. They have lower cortisol levels. Cortisol is the stress hormone. Oh, interesting. It can even improve your sleep. So it's not just about feeling better. It's about tangible changes to your body as well. So you're saying that there's some like legitimacy to this mindfulness thing. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I've tried meditation apps before, you know, those guided meditation things. Mm -hmm. But I struggle. Like I download it and I do it for like two days and then I forget about it. Yeah. How do you actually make this like a part of your life? Well, I think the key is to start small. You know, don't try to meditate for an hour right off the bat. Just five minutes. Five minutes of focused breathing can make a difference. Really? Yeah. You can also try to integrate it into something you already do every day. So if you're a coffee drinker like me, you know, five minutes after you finish your coffee, just sit there and meditate. Huh? Or if you have a commute, you know, you could try doing it on the train or in the car. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Just build it into something you already do. You're more likely to stick with it. I like that. Okay. So we're being mindful. We're less stressed, less cortisol, sleeping better. What's next on our list to total self-improvement? Well, let's see. D, D and J also talk a lot about community impact. Community impact. And yeah. they have this whole section on supporting local businesses. Yeah, I saw that. I was, I was a little curious how that connects back to, like, improving your own well-being. You yeah. know, Like, I get that it's good for the community, but what about me? Well, I think it's about creating a sense of belonging you know, we're oh. social creatures. We thrive when we feel connected to something larger than ourselves. Okay. And when you support a local business, you're not just buying a product, you're building a relationship. Oh. Uh -huh. You're supporting your neighbor. I like that. It contributes to a more vibrant local economy. You know, it's that ripple effect. What you do can have an impact beyond just your own little bubble. Okay. That makes sense. I like that. So we're buying local. We're supporting the community, feeling good about ourselves. This is working out great. That's right. All right. What else do we have here? What else should we be doing? So under relationships. Ah, yes. Relationships. Always a tricky one, right? D and J really emphasize the importance of open communication. Yeah. That is so important. But, oh, my God, it is so hard sometimes. Oh, it's so hard. Even with people you're really close to, communication can be the biggest challenge. Like, how do you even start to get better at that? Well, I think the first step is to really try to listen, not just waiting for your turn to talk. Oh, yeah. But actually listening to understand what the other person is saying. Yeah, that's huge. And it's also about being clear about your own needs and boundaries, you know, not expecting the other person to just magically know what you're thinking or feeling. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, those difficult conversations. Oh, I hate those. You got to have them. You got to have those hard conversations. Yeah, you do. Because ultimately, that's how you build a stronger connection. Yeah. Okay. So we're communicating openly. We're supporting our local businesses. We're mindful. We're doing great. 
But sometimes life can still be tough. Right. And I was glad that Surmounts Corner talked about mental health. Yeah. Because, you know, there's this whole stigma around seeking help. And they were really advocating for it. You know, if you need it, go get it. Talk to a professional. Absolutely. And I think it's so important to remember that asking for help is not a weakness. It's actually a sign of strength. Totally. You know, therapy can be a really valuable tool for anyone. It can help you understand yourself better, develop coping mechanisms, and just have a safe space to process your thoughts and feelings. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just for people who are like, you know, really struggling. Right. I think anybody could benefit from having someone to talk to who's objective and can give you a different perspective. Absolutely. Okay. So we've tackled communication, mental health, feeling good about ourselves, feeling connected to our communities. I'm feeling pretty good about this new year. Me too. But we can always be growing more, right? Yeah. D, D, and J had a whole section on personal growth. They did, yeah. And they were suggesting things like learning a new skill. Like yeah. actually take the time to invest in yourself and your own development. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, what do you think about that? Well, I think it's so important to stay curious. You know, our brains need to be challenged. Yeah, and they get bored. They do get bored. And learning something new can bring so much joy and satisfaction. Yeah. I mean, think about something you've always wanted to do. Maybe it's learn a new language or take up a musical instrument or learn to code. Oh, coding. That's a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah. It could be anything. But just the act of learning something new keeps your mind sharp and can open up new possibilities. Totally. Like, I've always wanted to learn calligraphy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know why. It just looks so beautiful. Yeah. So maybe this is my year for calligraphy. Okay, so we've covered a lot of great stuff. Yeah. I'm feeling inspired. I'm ready to be a whole new me. Yeah. But there's one area that I know we have to talk about because it's on everybody's list. Yeah. Financial well-being. Yes. Because it can be so stressful. Yeah. Money is one of the biggest stressors in people's lives. Absolutely. And DD and J, you know, no nonsense DD and J are very clear create a budget and stick to it. Yeah. Which, let's be real, not the most fun thing to do. No. But I think we both know it's important. So how do we make this less painful? Well, I think it's helpful to think of a budget not as a restriction, but as a plan. It's like a roadmap to get you where you want to go. Okay. I like that. So what are your goals? Do you want to save for a down payment on a house? Do you want to travel more? Do you want to just feel more financially secure? Whatever it is, a budget can help you get there. So it's more about like being intentional with your money. Exactly. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. I love that. That's a great way to look at it. All right. So we've covered a lot of ground here from mindfulness to community impact, relationships, personal growth, even financial well-being. It wow. seems like DD and J have given us a pretty comprehensive roadmap to a better version of ourselves. They have, although I will say it can feel a bit overwhelming. Oh, totally. It's a lot to take on all at once. Right. Like, where do you even begin? So before we wrap up here, what are some of the key takeaways you would leave our listener with? Like, if they only remember one thing from this whole conversation, what should it be? I think the most important thing to remember is that you don't have to do it all at once. Yeah, that's good. Just pick one or two things that really resonate with you. Maybe it's mindfulness. Maybe it's supporting local businesses. Maybe it's working on your communication skills. Yeah. Start small, be consistent, and be patient. Those small changes can have a big impact over time. I love that. Small changes, big impact. That's right. Okay. And before we sign off, DD and J left us with a really interesting question to ponder. They want you to think about one lesson from this past year, something you learned, something you experienced that you can apply to improve your well-being in the coming year. So what is it? What's that one thing you're taking with you into the new year? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave us a comment and let's keep this conversation going. And until next time, happy diving. Happy diving. Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Okay. okay.